I was talking to a friend about such a profound day and how we've created a beautiful celebration around it to celebrate the victory of good over evil and the friend immediately asked but how do we know what is good or what is evil because since childhood for us good and evil is whatever culture we've been raised in the moral ethics of that culture and that's how we define our own good and evils you know there's a there's a tribe in india it's still existing huh? this tribe is still existing in this tribe this is a tribe of thieves in this tribe the more sophisticated thief which means that this thief can break open any lock huh? and won't get caught so the perfect thief is respected the whole tribe wants to give uh, give the daughter to marry the perfect thief that's how they they look at the qualification this is a qualification of a man in this tribe the perfect thief gets the best bride in the village thief huh? morals good and evil we are talking about so it's very culturally oriented in some senses with each culture sometimes the moral and ethic codes change so this friend very innocently asked how do we know what is good and evil so i thought let's start today's gathering with this question and i today pose this question to all of you what do you think is good and evil the chat box is open express yourself this is a fundamental question actually because when we are conducting our our life every day we are faced with situation in those situation the good and evil plays into our head and as i said today is a beautiful profound day where we are celebrating the victory of good over evil but how do we know hmm? how do we know what is good how do we know what is evil what's the parameter this good and evil we are not looking at the outside world to to frame a structure of how should we view people or how should we judge people for their goodness or for their evilness now this entire process what we are celebrating in india today is a process of victory over good and evil within our own self it has nothing to do with outside societal no it it originates from here so within ourselves whatever that we do which entangle us which binds us is considered evil and whatever that we do the way we we conduct our life which frees us allows us to expand is considered good let me give you a few examples look at these attributes within ourselves look at these attributes attachment entangles us greed entangles us anger entangles us all that uh all this which entangles us in our own experience of life is considered evil now what helps us to be free to be liberated we all experience that friends when we are in deep state of love when we are doing something for somebody unconditionally when there is a let's say a bhav of seva unconditional offering when we are centered when we are here in this moment the mind is not going into the conceptual domains of fantasy into future or past when we are here we feel liberated in this particular moment there is a sense of liberation there is a sense of ease there is a sense of comfort there is a sense of blissfulness that is considered good so within ourselves there are always two attributes yeah so in life if you can use this as a as a parameter to conduct your life this is not a parameter to judge the world no this is a parameter to conduct your own life with and if you conduct your life with the with the attributes which brings a uh, deep joy deep opening deep salvation deep liberation deep blissfulness you will start to experience a 
a unity you know, which a friend wrote here this unity this experience of unity will only happen if you start to conduct your life with these attributes this is what the festival in india today is signifying it is not about judging the world that's how the mind operates we suddenly whenever there is a question about good and evil suddenly we get into this this judging the world the focus the mirror needs to be here how i am i conducting my life mm -hmm.